Do you have a PDF that needs to be signed? Let me show you how JotForm signs auto detect fields and makes this process a piece of cake. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So the first thing we need to do is go to the top left-hand corner where it says create form. We're going to click on that orange button and on the right-hand side, we have create a signable document. So if we click on that, we can either use a template, but we want to upload our own PDF to create this signable document. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the upload document option. Now for this example, I'm going to go ahead and try the demo document, but all you need to do is click the blue upload document button to choose yours. Now, if you have multiple documents that you need signed and they are separate PDFs, if you bring them all into this, it's going to make one document for you, making it super simple. So my sample document is ready to go. So let's go ahead and create a signable document. And we can see right up at the top, it automatically says detect fields automatically. Do we want to dismiss this or do we want to detect the fields? So if we do a quick scroll, we can see that there's probably going to be a total of four fields. So let's go ahead and choose that detect fields option. And it looks like it found those four fields. So let's go ahead and take a scroll. So I see we have two signatures and two dates, but I know that in order for there to be two separate people signing, I need to see two different colors. Now, keep in mind, the more you utilize this feature, the better the auto detect field is going to be for you. It is always learning. So like I said, I need to make sure that this is two people signing. So up here we have the disclosing party. So if I click on any of these fields, it's going to tell me who is who. So right here it says signer one and then me. So I know I am the disclosing party. So I need to change this one to me and this one to me. And then right here, the receiving party is going to be signer one. Now, if for some reason this did not work for you, you can always choose to undo. But for this, I'm going to go ahead and do keep all. And if there are more fields that we need to add in, maybe an email or a phone number, all we need to do is come over to the left hand side, add fields. We can drag in an email and we can drag in a phone number. And then we can see these are both populating as me, the disclosing party. So if we need to change these over to signer one, we can do that as well. But it is as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing the auto detect fields feature with JotForm Sign, definitely let us know down below in the comments. If you liked this video and you got some value, definitely give us a thumbs up down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on that bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.